This site marks the location of the deadliest massacre of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. My name is India Naftali, and today we are taking you to southern Israel. Right now, we are in Qatar Aza, one of the many Israeli communities that faced a deadly attack on October 7, 2023. On this specific kibbutz alone, which is located just three kilometers from the Gaza border, 70 Hamas terrorists from the Gaza Strip infiltrated and murdered around 100 residents and kidnapped a number of others. This right here was one of the trucks used by Hamas to infiltrate this village. We just have to be very careful. As you can see, all the debris on the ground. Uh, the army has told us that there could be still explosives and weapons laying around. Many of the homes here were hit with RPGs and families were even burned alive inside their homes. I just want to show you how many bullet rounds are on the ground right here. Just look. I'm about to speak to Knesset member and former Israeli ambassador to the UN, Danny Danon, about this scene. They came to this beautiful, peaceful uh, kibbutz. They took the babies into Gaza. They raped the women. They massacred dozens of innocent Israelis. Some of the people who actually worked here for years took advantage of that and gave information to the terrorist organizations. We found maps that the terrorists came with that actually said how many people live in each house, where you have dogs, where you have shelters. They knew everything from the inside. And, and that's unfortunate because the people who live here in this area, they always prayed for peace. And they believe that one day there will be peace with Gaza. And, and what happened on October 7th was a wake-up call for all of us. It's hard to imagine that it took nearly 24 hours of battle with the terrorists for Israeli forces to regain control of this kibbutz. Right now, we are walking onto the site of the Nova Music Festival, where thousands of uh, young Israelis and internationals were first attacked by Hamas terrorists. What started as a peaceful music festival turned out to be the beginning of a nightmare as terrorists on paragliders came on a murdering spree. Tuna. All of this, they were just here. One moment enjoying life and the next moment running for their life. When the Hamas terrorists first infiltrated Israel, many of the party attendees went to hide in these refrigerators here, but they were killed anyways. This food you're looking at right now has probably been sitting here for almost three weeks. You can just see rotting vegetables here. I have no words, it's just all frozen in time. Amid the haunting ruins of these sites, once alive with joy, is now a stark reminder of the tragedy that occurred on October 7th. 